some shots of the makeup in better lighting, as while the outdoor shots are moody and dramatic and exciting, these shots will get you excited for the tutorial. Excited yet? Good, let's get started. I'm going to start off with primer as always, which is a vital step for any makeup look. It's a base that helps fill in your pores, minimize shine, and lets your makeup last all day long. Once I've evenly coated that to my face and neck, I'm going to grab my NYX Green Color Correcting Cream to hide any blemishes or hyperpigmentation. Then with my NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Foundation, I'm going to apply an even layer all over my face and blend it in with circular motions. After that, I'm going to be using the Wonder Stick to carve out my cheekbones, temples, and nose before going back in with the same brush from before and blending it all out. To set all of that cream makeup, I'll be using the SFX Translucent Setting Powder. This powder is very effective and you don't need to use a lot as it does its job very well. Then to keep some color in my face before all of the cool toned makeup, I'm going to be using their Baked Blush in Wanderlust. This is a beautiful glowy brush that I wear every day, so this is nothing new. To start my eyebrows, I'm brushing them into the shape that I want with a spoolie. Then with a very small angled brush, I'm applying a black eyeshadow to the outer parts of my eyebrow and the NYX nude shadow in the next morning into the inner fourth. Then using a large, dense, angled brush that's good for packing pigment, I'm taking the same shadow and using it on the inner half of my crease. Using a small fluffy brush, I will blend that out, but while these shadows are so blendable, I do go back in and add some more color and layer as needed. Then I do the same on the outer half with the shadow Harley Quinn. Taking the Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean, I'm going to lay down a base for the dark pigments. Blending it out with my finger. On top of that, I'm going to pack this shadow Cosmic, which is a very appropriate name for this book. I will pack and blend this shadow just as I did with the other two, before taking a gorgeous loose pigment called Constellation and applying that to the outer half for added color and dimension. Then with the Roll-On Shimmer in Platinum, I'm adding a star-like highlight to my brow bone and to the inner corners of my eyes. After that, I'm going to be creating a stacked liner using blue, black, and white. Starting with blue, or the Studio Liquid Liner in Extreme Sapphire, I'm creating a thick wing, then going in with my matte black liquid liner to create the smaller version, outlining the top with the white liquid liner. Taking a very small, dense flat brush, I'm applying my crease colors under my eyes, and with the angled brush for my brows, I'm applying the blue pigment as lower liner. And then with my Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, I'm lining my waterline to open my eyes up. Then to create drama and volume, I'm using the Stacked Mascara with a coat of black, a coat of the white fuzz, and a final coat of the black mascara. Add some NYX lashes and the eyes are done! Taking two roll-on shimmers in platinum and pink, I'm applying an intense highlight to my cheekbones, with a bit of the silver down my nose and on my cupid's bow. Skipping to that tattoo part because I'll be eating soon, grab a... Eliza? Eliza. You're not... No one can see you. Come on. Yeah, notice. There we go. Go fix the camera. Yeah, okay. So, take a light brown eyeshadow and trace the circle shape with it. Okay, okay. What? I just wondered how you were doing. Doing well, thanks. You're doing? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing? Yep. <laughs> You are so good at this. Thank you, Grandma. <laughs> anyway, once you have the brown eyeshadow, trace over the desired areas with the matte black liner. It's important that it's matte in this case because a tattoo would never be shiny, which is the result you would get with a vinyl liquid liner. My tattoo is a crescent moon, so I'm mapping the design out with dots before connecting the line to make the shape a little cleaner and easier to do freehand. Then you can clean away the brown eyeshadow that was used as a tracing line and go into your moon with your desired pattern. Take your time with these lines, as clean lines are much more tattoo realistic. If you do mess up though, don't worry. 
as later on I am seen taking a bit of makeup remover on a brush and cleaning up the lines. You can make this whatever pattern you want. I chose to go with lines because I knew it would match my choker, but roses are also a popular design. Once you have your design to your liking though, take the SFX setting powder and a large fluffy dense brush to intensely powder it. The powdering will help set it, but it will also help make it look more realistic as an aged tattoo, which tend to be more gray than black. Then grab some black eyeshadow and shade the inside of the moon to give it more dimension and make it more interesting. Then with a quick costume change, it is time for the lips. I'm going to start with the Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in Foul Mouth and applying that all over my lips before taking the Cosmic Metals Lip Cream in Celestial Star and applying that to the inner portion of my lips, concentrating it heavily on the very center of the lower lip. Now onto the exciting magical sleeve things. I'm starting off by outlining the shape or design that I want with the Black Bean Jumbo Eye Pencil. Then I'll be taking the SFX Cream Paint in black and the NYX Foundation Brush, which has the perfect bristle ratio for a thick cream like this, and I'm drawing inside the lines and filling everything in. You do want to take your time and be careful with this, but it's not important that it's perfectly even because the shadows we'll be applying in a moment will also be uneven and you can cover up any discoloration you need with that method. To set the cream, I will first tap the powder on and then tap it into the skin without brushing it yet. If you brush it immediately, then you can displace the makeup, but if you tap it first, it can give it the protection it needs before brushing away the excess. That way you don't end up smearing your makeup all around and it can actually stay set. But once that is set, I'm going to use a similar method of powder application with the blue pigment from my eyes, applying it somewhat randomly over the back. Then with the crease brush and the two crease colors, I'm creating similar patterns of varying color intensities in other areas. Galaxies are not all the same color and same shape, so feel free to get creative with this. After that, I'm taking the Milk Jumbo Eye Pencil to create small stars or planets in the otherwise bare and boring sky. Then with the pink roll-on shimmer, I'm going to go over the pink pigment areas to give a bit of added color and shine by laying it down and tapping it out. Once you've done that with the pink, you can do the same thing with the silver, but whatever placements you desire. This adds a bit of interesting shimmer and dimension without much work. Then I somehow forgot to get a product shot of this, but as a finishing touch, I added a bit of color contrast by outlining my sleeve designs with the liquid crystal liner in crystal gold. Add in your finishing touches while being scared of your sharp false nails, and then realize that you made a headdress and haven't shown it off yet. Want to learn how to make it? Good, because here we go. Start off with a headband, some wire, some scissors, a hot glue gun, black flowers, blue flowers, and white flowers, as well as a clear pebble, stick on bedazzlements, and creepy black branches. Take some wire that could roughly fit as a crown around your head, then measure it against the headband to make sure that it fits. Cut that into shape and then hot glue it to the headband. Then be sure to bridge the gap between the two with some branches and more hot glue so that you have a solid foundation to start the branches on. To create the crown, assemble the branches in whatever design is appealing to you. You'll probably need to take your time with this and add some support with other branches. Then add some black leaves and get a printed image of the moon that will fit the clear pebble. Hot glue that so you get a 3D effect and glue that on as well as black flowers, blue flowers, and white flowers. Black flowers are for the color of night, blue for the color of the sky, and white flowers because they glow in the dark. This is roughly the design you have, and then add finishing touches of flowers and bedazzlements to create the finished headdress. And then that's actually it for this look. It was created entirely out of NYX Cosmetics products, as this was a tutorial for NYX, the goddess of night, and somehow it just felt very appropriate. 
If you liked this video, then give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed already, then be sure to do that before you leave and become a part of the dragon family. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, or frankly just any funny stories, leave them in the comments below. Alright, see you all next time dragons! walking in the park, walking out like this. I can't disappear, I have too much headdress. <laughs> Secret revealed, this ring's too big for me, surprise.